ladies and gentlemen, from Austin, Texas, and Henderson, Nevada. Maybe? Where middle-aged men dance joyfully to Possum Posse, and children unfortunately lose to grown-ass people. It's going to be a great ice cream night. Now, you gotta ask yourself, while you pull your meat and founder in your day, uh, who drew first blood? Because here are your hosts for Ice Cream Social, Matt Donnelly, Pat Ma Paul Mattingly, and Jacob, <laughs> Jacob Smith, and for Great Night, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! <laughs> Oh, heck yeah. Hey, we're great. Yeah. Oh, shit. Are, are we live? Oh, hey, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Hey, who's here for Founders Day? Say yeah. Yeah. All right, that's the most I've got for this episode. Yep. <laughs> Let's be so loud the dude who keeps 19 hot tubs in his front yard can hear you. Let me hear you say yeah. 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 For real though, what the fuck is going on? I saw that driving in. <laughs> yeah, the day. I was it, like, felt, it, it is a suspicious amount of hot tubs. They're three deep. Yeah, <laughs> what's in the middle? <laughs> a hot like, tub. Oh no, those are deadly poisonous snake condominiums, is what that is. <laughs> oh, there are so many snakes and spiders in those hot tubs. You know what I mean? Yes, that is an asp loft. Uh -huh. wait, 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 wait. By the uh, way, who introduces me from Nevada? Nevada. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I'll tell you what, Brett, 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 Brett riled him up in the bullpen right before they oh. came out. As soon as he went with we, Nevada. We, we, we were backstage, and we were listening to the intro, and then I forget who said what, but I heard, uh, oh, that's the one. We're oh, going to get him. <laughs> Nevada. No, are, are, uh, Brett, Brett, are you aware that there is a divide in the pronunciation? You no know divide. Thing? It's Nevada. Nevada. Nevada it's is how people from Nevada, Nevada say it. Sure. Nevada yeah. is how aristocrats and you say it. I believe bougie motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they don't like it though. They don't take kindly to it. It's like Louisville and Louisville. <laughs> it's like Louisville, Louisville and Nolan. There you go. <laughs> You know, uh, shit. In, in, in this moment, I kind of want to correct the fact that Brett's mic appears to not be on, but yeah. I kind of don't. Uh, I'm kind of okay with this. <laughs> he, he's uh, not, not only oh. not only does uh, is Brett's mic not on, but he's the only one with a chair. <laughs> he's hiding. Yeah, he's I, out I, of I, the I, light I, in a chair. Pick, pick a lane. <laughs> like either, either you're up here talking in a mic or you're sitting in a chair in the shadow. Fair point. He is in the shadow. Oh, there we go. There uh, we go. Here I am. Oh. I, I had forgotten that you guys don't sit during your show anymore. We don't. No. I do. Sing. I was really excited to come up here and sit. <laughs> I'm taking a photo right now because it's sunset. And, uh, oh, it's uh, really lovely. Uh, the place looks There's amazing. There's no better audio than listening to Brian take a photo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what you're hearing right now is Brian Brushwood taking a photo of the sun setting. Uh, mm. Brian, you lost its skull. That was embarrassing. <laughs> mm. The number one thing that has been a running joke on the show <laughs> is you and your expectations at skull. Huh. How do you feel whoa, now whoa, that whoa, you're whoa, totally whoa, humiliated? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, one of us did a heel turn in the middle of the setup for the day. <laughs> And old, old WWE style with manager. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I lost, uh, and I lost before Matt. Uh, but I think that was exactly right. That was maybe the most magical experience I've ever had in my entire life. We cosplayed an underground uh, cockfight, uh, 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 pit fighting club. Uh, yeah, with complete with fake hundreds of thousands of dollars in everybody's hands uh, around, uh, and it was a honor to lose i gotta tell you I, i've guessed on a lot of podcasts i've done a lot of like improv festivals and podcast festivals mm -hmm. very rarely does someone authoritarian <laughs> with authority say you know before we do anything 
I should pass around thousands of counterfeit bills. Yeah. <laughs> odd. It's odd. Absolute, it's odd. And have it's an be, odd note. And have that be the absolute right call. Well, it's, like, uh, right. it's a lot more dangerous back in Vegas. <laughs> right. That's true. That can get you in a lot of trouble really quick. I, uh, or get you out of a lot of trouble really quick. I suppose. <laughs> As somebody who shot at the final table because I made the finals. I was playing in the final table and I made the finals. Um, <laughs> but uh, lasted longer than but, Brian Brushwood, I believe. Yeah. Yep. I talked mm-hmm. for a second. Yep. I but, died for a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the way, like, 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 it could not have gone better. We had a uh, uh, Adria. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, Twelve year old. It's great. And by the way, like, I think I'm even higher because she should be disqualified because it's fourteen and up on the box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. It's, yeah. Fourteen. Is she's it really? Not, she's not enough. legally allowed to play. No, no, no. She's not legally allowed to play. Uh, that was I, the cockfighting I, I, portion. I, I, I mean, that was the illegal if, portion if of the whole thing. If there's <laughs> isn't, if there's any reason to disqualify her, it's because she's a brutal uh, man killing machine who made it all the way to the fucking finals. It was amazing. Oh, she yeah. was an assassin. She made me cell phone. I had killed myself on my own skull. Yeah. yeah. Not uh, but so either cool. of you guys won the entire thing. No, that's true. That's right. really depressing. Yeah. For you, personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you know what's even more sad? <laughs> yeah. Literally nobody remembers who did win. That's the weird part. <laughs> <laughs> now, la- ladies and gentlemen, let's no get a big round of applause for Waffle Ophagus, who yeah. won. Uh, Matt Campbell. Kapla. Uh, how would Matt, you Matt guys? Is, Matt is almost sure that I don't actually know his name, and he's usually right. Uh, I only know him as Waffle Ophagus, but he is indeed the champion. And by the way, he gets some element of the room size trophy that okay. was created okay. for this how would you explain to anybody who has no context for what's happening and eventually we'll fill everybody in how would yeah. you explain the trophy <laughs> have you ever been overwhelmed by art that you had to weep openly <laughs> Yeah. It's like the first time I saw the Vietnam War Memorial. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, like and st- yeah. size wise, start with the space shuttle. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a massive apparatus. Like 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 those NASA videos where they do the speed uh, speed camera of loading in the shuttle. Yeah, we needed that for the loading of the. Or it's like, like, like you ever been on the highway and like a piece of one of those wind farm uh, like the, the, <laughs> oh, they're yeah, driving like by a trailer. Yeah, 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 on a trailer. It's like that, but bigger. Yeah, I think uh, Jacob's analogy was dead on. I saw a lot of people in there doing charcoal etchings on it. Yep. So yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Listeners, I, I, listeners I, of our podcast will remember that like uh, Pit the Magic Dragon. One time in Vegas, won three different categories of Best of Vegas. Mm-hmm. And so Ryer, uh, who made this trophy, was tasked then of making three awesome trophies that could merge together into a mega trophy. Oh. And it did. And then when you were telling me about Ryer's plans for your trophy, I was like, I'm going to bite my tongue because it, this can't be better than that trophy. And then it was unveiled, and I was like, Boy, I can't wait to tell about the Piff thing because it's nothing compared to. What <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I mean, the Piff thing was ridiculous. With... There were there were Las Vegas news reporters there. They were like, "This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life," <laughs> and this thing is ten times crazier. Mm-hmm. So, 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 uh, uh, as a magician, I am reluctant to admit that I got got. Yeah. Uh, because uh, I I knew it was going to be impressive. Number one, mm-hmm. because it's done by, by Ryer. Number two, because Ryer said, "Will you please give me a high fidelity scan of your." Face? face uh number three uh, i saw a sketch of of what looked like a very impressive trophy but even then i did not dial in on the most important thing the thing that he totally tricked me on which was scale and my first clue should have been when ryer was asking loved ones of mine how tall i am <laughs> yeah because this thing's for fucking taller than i am yes oh, no no brian brian that's that's for the body pillow that he's making me <laughs> <laughs> that's the real trophy yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sure is uh so uh the, the, it's it's very impressive check social media that's all i could say yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah it's multi-tiered yes it tributes Aspects of your career. There are statues of me as the gentleman, the warrior, and the scoundrel. And the top is a bust of me with a majestic mullet and a mustache. Yes. It's uh, Bonnie literally said upon seeing it, well, if you look like that while you were wearing a mullet, I, maybe I uh, <laughs> maybe maybe you would have kept it. Maybe yeah, maybe you'd yeah. still be wearing a yep. mullet. Yep. I thought Bonnie was going to see it and be like, I've never loved you that much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was implied. <laughs> she's definitely never loved you as much as we love that trophy. She's, uh, yeah. she's in there right now talking to the trophy. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I saw her putting the trophy in her car. That are 
filthy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that was kind of like a, uh, so today happens to be April 1st on Founders Day. And, and I love the like uh, mutually agreed upon hallucination where it's like we all decided this morning that for one glorious day, we're all going to decide that a simple coaster based bluffing game mm-hmm. is the most important thing. And God damn, if you guys didn't play the bit, it was great. It worked, yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause yeah. if you played Skull. Go ahead, make Very some noise. Well Let's let everybody know. It worked so good. I, I, I method acted. I'm authentically exhausted from the bit. <laughs> I was authentically nervous going to the final table. Yep. And okay, it, can, it, can, 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 can we talk long. about like how long your streak as the executioner <laughs> ran? I got a nickname. I, I rarely get nicknames. <laughs> I, we, people, listeners of my podcast know I'm Matt Donnelly. Every first name, last yeah. name, every time. Matt Donnelly's here. Hey, the executioner. Donnelly. I got the nickname, the executioner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, it got so bad that somebody decided to choose to turn over a coaster from Matt Donnelly. And involuntarily, I hear Justin go, Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, guess what? He got got. He got executed. Got, he got executed. Yeah. Uh, that no, was a don't come for the executioner. No. It was. It was a good time. All, all this will be on social media. Um, hey, I'm done. I'm very tired. <laughs> you guys do a show, and I'll laugh very hard. <laughs> Sure. I love that this is Brian throwing to a segment that we come up with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we can start off with uh, what Brian and you have enabled for us as yeah. a podcast. To oh, shit. Brian. We got news. And we got news. Yeah, yeah we, we got do. some real news. A uh, news and call to action. So we. Uh, and I'm just impressed that Paul actually had a segment in his back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, today we released our comedy album. Hey, yes. Scoop. Yes. Not so, only today we released our comedy album, it is currently the number one downloaded album in the comedy genre on both iTunes and Amazon. Yeah. Ooh. They them ones. And they them ones. It's trending number one overall on Amazon. Yep. Oh. Number 14 on iTunes. Oh. oh. And by overall. overall. Make some noise if you've not yet bought the album. Yeah. Fuck you. Buy the Wait. album. <laughs> We're if, still working, people. If you can't, if you can't buy it, at least retweet to everybody about it. Yeah. Don't throw the. Word oh wait, out oh, hold on, wait. This is a thing that we did that uh, I would very much encourage you guys to do right now: is take out your phones and text somebody oh, that yeah. like might care about yeah. this album and uh, say, "Hey, our album's number one." Yeah. And then if they mm-hmm. ask you in what, you tell them albums. Albums. <laughs> albums. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Because yeah. it's very rare that you can do things like that. Yes. And now is the it's time true. to Today do it. Today is the day we get those right now. credits. Yes. Go uh, and, and please. Stunt Old girlfriends. We're, we're going to yeah. drop it on Johnny Katz, I think. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. That's former yeah. partners. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going. Yeah, uh, we're going. Yeah, yeah. We're going. We're going. We have a week. Media. Yeah, yeah. We have a week to be uh, number one on the Billboard comedy chart. Yep. So we have a week from today. Uh, so if you're hearing this, if, if you're listening to this uh, anytime in the week of April 1st, keep them number one. Go ahead. Please. Go uh, search Hey Scoops on iTunes. Search Hey Scoops on Amazon Music. That, that will take you right to our album. Buy it. Download it. Keep us at number one and, on those platforms and get and us number one on Billboard. That That is 100% true. Like basically on iTunes and Amazon, if you guys are able to stay number one, if anybody's hearing this, yeah. real quick check, if you guys are not number one, Buy it then. Yeah. Get the get you back to number one. If you spend a week at number one, guess what? You're we're number it. one. Yeah, we're number one. Yeah. Uh, so I, I I posted today on my personal Facebook. I haven't posted on my personal Facebook. I looked. I, uh, today was the first day I posted anything on my Facebook page in like eight months. What was like it was like January fifth. You're like flying out. Who's with you? <laughs> yeah. That was it. Exactly. That was it. <laughs> Take our country back. <laughs> it was January third. <laughs> Biden hashtag Biden's a clone. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I did that, and uh, my uh, mother-in-law is on Facebook, mm-hmm. and she texted me and said, hey, I saw that you guys have a comedy album on Facebook, and uh, I, I don't know how to buy it. How do I get it? I said, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, that, mother-in-law. That post, you don't need to hear this album. That post is not for you. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, skip now, that. Okay. I've been hacked. I've been hacked. Now, it's a, it, it has some rocky stuff in it. <laughs> oh, 
totally not, after not you Rocky hit play. Quality wise, it's just foul. <laughs> it's just filthy me being. It's all awful. about birds. Yeah, no, but uh, I'm gonna say seventy percent of it you're gonna love. Yeah, but it's not like there's and a then whole some track. of you're gonna love a hundred percent of it, and I love you the most. <laughs> Uh, and, and just just so we can get uh, uh, factual stuff out, it is uh, the album is called Hey Scoop. Yes, yes. yes. And the artist is Matt and Madeline's Ice, Ice Cream Social. Social. So, yeah. so people can search it. Yep. So uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Matt and Madeline's Ice Cream Social is the artist. Hey, hey Scoop, Scoop is, is the Scoops. album. By the way, right now as we speak, the number one album Numero in America uno. in albums in albums in albums in albums, including music, including yeah. music. Yeah, everybody. Music. Yeah. yeah, I say it all the time. We're bigger than Get Harry fucked. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, take a, hike. Take a seat, buddy. We, uh, I, I just Taylor went Swift hit the bricks. <laughs> yep, I all just right. went back to Vegas. Over Kanye the last West, week. Mazel Tov. <laughs> that is the yes. Kanye yes. West, yes. Go two posts back on Jacob's Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I, gone back to Vegas with these guys for an event. Uh, we had bucket shows and all kind of stuff. As I'm in Pennsylvania now, but uh, we were doing some last minute work and recording mm-hmm. on the album with our producers, and kind of out of the blue, my wife suggested that I re-record a dance mi- remix of the song that I wrote for her oh, before we were married, and uh, and it actually worked. Uh, yeah, exactly. So long distance. And so there is a club dance remix of my ridiculous faux country song that I wrote for my wife, then girlfriend, who 16 years now we've been uh, hitched. Yeah, it worked. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, what a country. Hey, so th- there's actually some genuine uh, cool music on there. That's, that's just that's actually the end of the list. But don't yeah. worry about that. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. There are other... yeah, but there are other really fun pieces on there, too. I actually, because uh, like you said, you, you, a song got you married as well. There's a song on there uh, that I wrote for, for my wife called yes. Truck Stop Whore. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, and it's romantic, romantic. It mm-hmm. just, it, Tear to the eye. And not it's, 16 years yet, but there's time. It's a heart stopper and a panty dropper. It's getting, yeah, yeah it's getting you. there. For money, for there's money. some gold. Well, you you boys have listened to it and what, exclusively for money. What uh, what hit you in the ears that uh, drove you dropped your panties? Uh, I, oh, probably the song that we wrote for them. Yeah. Oh, by that's the way, right. By the way, there is uh, uh, on our our last album that uh, we released, also number one on albums. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's but good. like, uh, got that no mojo. Yeah. Got that mojo. Uh, what a, what a, that, that, you know what? I don't think anybody noticed that. I think it's oh, uh, very subtle. Yeah. All's Well <laughs> was the album that we put out, right. and uh, you did a fish <laughs> diss track. Wait, the only reason it was. Uh, in any way good was, of course, uh, uh, Stephen Cogswell. Stephen Cogswell. But, yeah. uh, 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 boy, uh, I was not on purpose making a track. Paul was on purpose <laughs> making a track. Arguably on hates- porpoise. He- <laughs> <laughs> on porpoise. So, so our, this so guy our, hates our, 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 Yeah, our, <laughs> our version was, was, was me like, I, I don't know, we stumbled into a bit. We thought it was funny, and then it was made musical. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but the point was uh, that fish, fish dish, like, were, like were, all, all the things to hate upon a fish would <laughs> be the most innocuous. But what yeah. if somebody like really hated fish? Yes. Uh, we did it as a hilarious jape. Stephen Cogswell made it into, made a, it into song. a song. Mm-hmm. Fucking Paul hates fish. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's really mean to fish, this song. It's if called you love Fuck Fish. If you love fish, skip this song. Yeah. But if you, you will be offended. If I mean, it is fish. it is a DMX level banger. It is a ether level diss track. It is something there, there are elements there that you're you're picking up on. Yeah, we try to do like an onyx kind of uh, yes. chorus. And uh, my friend who's an actual DJ did some scratching for me on the track. So I, I have no idea if we technologically could do this, but I'll float it out there that it would be neat if we were able to hear it. But otherwise we'll post produce. I think it. we yeah. already did this once. Yeah. And we then we found out that we were not able to play. I have like <laughs> unlimited wishes. Yes. I can. I don't even have this I album. Want. I haven't even bought Wish the new album. Wish in one hand, yet. fish no. in the other. Yeah. Paul, do you just want to spit <laughs> it? Wish in one you hand, just spit it out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know it? Think, you uh, wrote it. It's your song. I'm just trying to think of some, of the, song. some of the classic uh, bits. Uh, uh, your caviar ain't shit. I'm straight laying death row. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> Right? Yep. It's yep. nothing but Sorry. fish puns. You're literally shitting on the babies of fish. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll, uh, said, yeah, I'm the illest. I'll rip out your respirator. Now they call you Mickey Gillis. 
Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Fish puns for yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. So sign up. Oh, oh my shit. God. Oh, shit. Yes. Miracles happen. Here it goes. Happened. Here it goes. All right. For too fucking long. <laughs> this dude hates fish. <laughs> Fuck fish, fuck fish, fuck a motherfucking fish. That's all you get. You gotta buy, you gotta buy the album. <laughs> buy the album a taste now. Point. Hey, yeah. Scoop. Is, First taste is, is free, album. baby. First taste is free. Tease. <laughs> a tease. I barely just got out of the driveway and the windows were down. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Good. Good. Ah. Oh man! So what everybody have for lunch? Yeah. <laughs> what do you what, like? What what, what, what did you have? Yeah. What what did you guys have? Tacos. Same tacos. 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 Yeah, we all had tacos. 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 Yeah, it was tacos. Do you like it or no? It was good. It was good tacos. It was a good taco. Yeah. yeah. I liked them. I, did you like like chicken or? I did chicken. The other one. Bryce. Bryce. Do we have a game? He does not. Okay. <laughs> Sink into it. Sink into it. No, no, no. No, no. We are up here without a plan. No, I'm still We I'm We've still actually standing. planned the entire uh, day. That was, uh, it went perfectly. This is going to be awkward until it's really funny. Okay. So sink into the awkward. Oh, right. oh, 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 I could do the thing I was telling you about before. I did this on our podcast, okay. but I can do it on this podcast. Yeah, sure. Ready? Long, up. long, awkward joke. Oh Come. yeah, yeah, yeah! You guys ready? Do, 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 do you want? Do you want? You want an intro or? Fuck it! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You've seen him on the morning cartoon shows. He is Paul Mattingly. This is the joke. And you might wonder <laughs> whether it's going to be long and awkward, but I assure you, not as long and awkward as this introduction. Isn't that right, Justin? Brought to you by Colgate. Toothpaste for your teeth. Brush it away <laughs> with Colgate. Now back now. to you, Brian. <laughs> okay, well, now let's go ahead and hand it on over to Paul. But before we do, <laughs> let's thank all of our fine patrons. By name. <laughs> get the scroll. Amy. Somebody get the scroll. Anthony. <laughs> Amethyst. <laughs> Amethyst? I got a yeah, patron I don't know. Amethyst? She's a stripper. Beatrice. Uh, no, uh, in all seriousness, Paul, uh, we want you to take it away just as soon as we thank our sponsors. Mm -hmm. Yep. Vietnam. <laughs> you might remember it for other things, but now they have a Hilton. <laughs> Not the one that John McCain went to. <laughs> Big wink. <laughs> And with that, we now now, now only the good memories punji stick in your brain. Oh. That, that was the one. That, that, was, the that was the line. 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 Sure. All right. And now for your yeah, news I, update. A news update. Donald Trump faces indictment <laughs> as uh, the New York District Attorney Alvin Bragg says that the will be uh, right. I'm brought. Sorry, uh, Justin, I think it's time okay. for us to introduce the segment that will change. Mm, I'm sorry, breaking news. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Paul is here. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul is here. Uh, he's going to do a joke. Go I'd ahead, like Paul. to. I've been indicted. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I just realized there's only two ways for this to go. Uh huh. How, well, what are the two? Let's spell them out. Stop now. Uh huh. Or keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Where I mean, no, leave. no, no. If you want to, if you want to apply the rules of Paul Mattingly School of beating a dead horse, yeah. Volume we're eight. never gonna tell my. I'm joke. sorry, I no, have to cut I, you off. No, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. We go live there now. We go. Perfect. To a helicopter. <laughs> here I am over the traffic, and it looks like there's a whole bunch of traffic here. Uh, apparently, uh, there was a car full of cows. Somebody was bringing. Cows in a car and it spilled. The, the cow car spilled over. I'm not talking about like a, an actual cow car. This was cows in a normal person car. Very bad. And I can't believe, but it looks to be at least eight cows. I don't know how they got all those cows in a single car. They could be clown cows. That would explain how they.
they fit in the car. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, the, the, oh, the helicopter's lost power. We're all going to die. I love you, Martha. Goodbye. Goodbye. There's money in the sink. Under the sink is where the... Colgate is our sponsor. I remember, if your teeth are in your mouth, it's Colgate. Brush it away with Colgate. Uh, not for nothing, I'm very impressed that Paul realized, oh, wait, what if I joined you fucking with my... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, oh, sorry. I don't want to ruin this bit, but breaking news. Uh -huh. A traffic <laughs> copter just crashed. Oh, <laughs> just my God. Oh, no. All right, can, can, can we finally get to the shaggy dog story? <laughs> Paul, yes. you had a story you wanted to tell. I yeah. did. I had a joke. Okay. And it's not, you know, well, you guys hold on. maybe heard before it before. Involve, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't involve clowns, right? Because recently a bunch of clowns just recently perished. Oh, really? Oh, oh no. Yeah, they were under the helicopter. Oh, God. Ooh, yeah. that's terrible. No, yeah. it doesn't. Talk, it's not about clowns. And now we go to the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just singing a tribute, hoping people will donate to the cause. Go fund me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Nelly Furtada's brand new charity single, <laughs> Under the Helicopter. Under the Copter. In the arms of the a clown. <laughs> what? There's Timberland next to her. Big red nose. What's he been up to? What's Wait. Timberland been up to? He's where's, still hanging out with Nelly Timberland. Furtada. She kept him in a box. Yeah. And and where's Magoo while we're at it? Uh, really? Let's yeah. All right, let's, let's practice. figure that out. Paul, would you please start your story? Only if you yeah. promise to interrupt me at every turn. I make no promise. All right, so three Except guys. Except for one. One. Okay. And that is to our sponsor. <laughs> yes. Who is that? Uh, a piece of shit. <laughs> You've heard of it. It's been used as a metaphor. Now you can own it. A literal piece of shit. My <laughs> neighbors are too comfortable coming over to my house and standing in my yard and talking. Well, why don't you hire me for a while? <laughs> oh, hello, piece of shit. I'm a fucking piece of shit, man. I just, I'll, you know what? You can put me around on the porch. Don't even put me in lawn. Put me on the porch. I, I mean, like, you step here, you're getting a foot full. Now, friends, you might be asking, is this a literal piece of shit or a fake piece of shit that you've seen on the news? Well, I'll prove it by asking him this. Piece of shit, who's the real president? Oh, well, are we talking this timeline or the shit timeline? I rest my case. Yeah, because <laughs> it's still Barack. <laughs> For me, that's when I stop caring. Piece of shit. Use offer code shit at checkout. <laughs> All right, Save and now ten percent with code corn. <laughs> Paul, I know, I know, because I'm ten percent corn, I, undigested corn. Oh, that joke is gonna stick with you. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you put in code colon corn. <laughs> Hyperlink colon corn. All right. Uh, Paul. I'm Frank Thomas. <laughs> I'm a sentient piece of shit. <laughs> and we are the brand new Martin and Lewis comedy team. That Welcome to the NFL the Sunday night. <laughs> Frank <laughs> Thomas and a sentient piece of shit. Got to be better than Brady coming in. We're just going to talk about the refrigerator Perry because that's when shit was fun. Is he still alive? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Here's a clip of all my home runs. Look at that. Amazing. The, the NFL doesn't really give too much of a shit about baseball, but we're changing things around here. Change it up. Yep. Bats on the field this season. Oh, God. Those football players are ready to thwack your ass. Also, they're really attracted to the lights, the yeah. bats. Yeah. You're a lot more yeah. mouthy than Flutie. Well, yeah, because I'm a sentient piece of shit, and you'll find it's going to be harder and harder to distinguish me from many of the players who are always attacking their domestic partners. <laughs> Stay out of Very the elevators difficult with to the determine people. I am serious. If that's an Stay NFL player or just a sentient piece of shit. This is getting a little spicy for me. <laughs> MLB Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. <laughs> Big, Big hurt. hurt. Big hurt. <laughs> Why don't you try some of this extra tea? Holy shit. My dick is so hard. It's yeah. vibrating with the earth's core. Yeah, yeah. Your wife's going to like it too. Unless you're a sentient piece of shit and you hit on her and stuff. Is that your relationship? That's the way I am. With Hold my, on. I'm a sentient piece of shit. Sentient piece of shit. Yeah? Are you married? How are things going? It's been hard. <laughs> well, talk to me about it. Well, We're friends. Uh, she, she came home last week, and she was drunk. 
Damn. I, I asked her, like, where you been, baby? She said, shut up, sentient piece of shit. I don't know why I ever married your ass, your 10% corn. And I was like, damn, you didn't have to. But, I mean, she's got a point. I haven't been moisturizing. I'm pretty dry. I'm real flaky around the house now. Oh. Yeah, the dog's been nibbling at me. You want to you, you wanna know what, man? You tell me. That reminds me. 1994. Yo, sure. ALDS. <laughs> I'm batting clean up. Yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, Nolan Ryan comes oh, up to the mound. Yep, oh, yep. I swung as hard they as I could, were. and I won the game. Well, well, I, I, how does hurt? How does that help me hurt? <laughs> I don't know. I was just thinking about it. I, okay. <laughs> so you had a real good game, and I'm about to get a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that means that I did okay. Oh, Nelly Furtado's here. I gotta run. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, she'll she'll kill you. What? Yeah. Is that what happened to Timberland? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. And Magoo. <laughs> oh no. I'll kill. Mystery saw. Oh shit. <laughs> Hide me. Hide me. Hurt. All right. Come on. Come come under my jersey. Oh. Come Ooh, under my jersey. Hide under my titty. I thought I smelled bad. What the hell? No, Hurt. no. Get up in there. What in the Get hell? Get up in my folds. Hurt, what is that? Is that just hide, dead skin? Hide there. Tell me that's just dead skin. What is that, Hurt? Shh. Hurt, I can't breathe in here. Hurt. I have Hurt where I need you now. Hurt, I can't breathe. I'm going, it's going You dark. escaped me once. Hurt, it's going dark. But you'll never escape me again. I'm going to go. Are, yes. are you are you a are you a uh, sentient piece of shit that got also got caught in Big Hurt's titty? Who the fuck are you? I I'm a sentient piece of shit as well. Big Hurt trapped me here three years ago. I should have recognized the smell underneath his titty. Oh, Us God. little baby, oh, don't oh, say God. a word. Yeah, yeah. Guys, guys, Mama's gonna news. buy you a mockingbird. Guys, breaking news. So yeah. sorry. Yeah. Uh, the NFL's issued several apologies. <laughs> wow. They're about their recent Sunday night show. They really is one of them for insinuating that Frank Thomas was ever a member of their league. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. That's apology number four. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, the, uh, Frank Tom's bare breasts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, yeah. That was also you, another yeah. one. The bigger Frank titties, bigger Frank Thomas. Tits. Yeah, <laughs> the yep. problem. Low T. The. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they hang low. <laughs> they wobble to and fro. Do your low titties hang low. <laughs> so anyway, I've been promising a big special guest. It was the International Space Station that just went over us. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, wow. Hey. Yeah. Oh. I was looking for it. I think it was Fuck, cloudy. We were working on that for like 48 hours. Yeah. 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 Setting it up. Go back to the big hurt thing, though. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Look, uh, Brian. And if that mockingbird don't <laughs> sing, Mama's gonna buy you a dog. Hey, what's up? It's me, Doug Flutie. Hey, Doug, what's up? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I was just trying to untangle this this hose. <laughs> you want to go find some more cucks that that can't please their wives uh, and shame them for not having as hard a dicks as we have because well, of nutrigenics? I'm holding my surfboard, aren't I? Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 a <Hell of> dealer. <laughs> what a penis. <laughs> dealer. I have a ten thousand dollar bill. I want to place on black. You got it. Always been on black. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yep. I'm Wesley Snipes for low T. <laughs> <laughs> There's no lower T huh? than this ten thousand dollar bill that I'm placing on black. Right. It's me, Doug Flutie. Here's my Hi, friend, Flutie. Big Hurt. Oh, hey, hey Hurt. What's hey, going hey, on? What's up, hey, man? Hurt. Hurt. What do you think about Expendable Six? <laughs> I thought you were great. No, it didn't happen yet. I want you in it, Hurt. <laughs> oh, anyway, that reminds me. <laughs> 1995. That's a good year. ALCS. Sure. I step up, bat, and clean up. Oh, yeah, I remember. Steps up to pitch. Who was it? Pedro Martinez. Really? <laughs> and I won the game. Uh. So is that a no to Expendable 6? I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you were talking about. Right, right. All right I was right. thinking about that time. Yeah, okay. Anyway... <laughs> My friend Doug Flutie's got a real hard dick. Have you seen it? <laughs> Hold on. I'm texting the word thrust to 56626. 
Oh. I'll give you 20% off of a low yeah. T treatment. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. What do you think would be metaphors they have not used visually on those commercials? Shine? <laughs> that what? answer was so fast, we were like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, Wait, like, 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 like the rapper who went to jail for P. Diddy. Uh, I mean, at a certain uh, uh, point, they're just gonna have to be walking through a Grandma Moses exhibit, right? Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. to, to be honest, I'm literally trying to figure out what words have five letters. <laughs> Flyer. Oh, oh, you're thinking of the offer code. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking of like, like the, oh, they're eventually, the they're, yeah. they're eventually going to be talking to somebody who's standing like in front of one of those carnival games <laughs> where like you shoot water and a balloon fills up. Yes. And they're gonna be like, <laughs> like, like not being able to Have fill up the balloon. Have we talked about this game that we're doing? Like, like uh, now that 4chan has killed the circle game, getting people to glance down and see that you're doing the. Right. Okay oh, right. Slide. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so because now, it became about white supremacy. <laughs> 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 Right. Yeah. Them, yes. But according but, to 4chan, it's so white now, supremacy. But 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 there's a new game in town, which is go to a sports bar, and sooner or later those ads show up. And the trick is to try to get somebody to look at them. Uh, and and now we're at the level where uh, 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 I just uh, uh, we no longer are able to get each other. So instead, I just surreptitiously take a photo, and then I text him a photo of him, and over his shoulder is that ad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that happens. We're dumb. We're dumb. We're dumb. <laughs> Hello, I'm Georgia O'Keefe. <laughs> wow. You have low T. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I was looking for, not Grandma Moses. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It was I, knew, I knew you were. <laughs> uh, I almost went to Ann Geeds. That would have been way. Oh, that would have been solid. <laughs> no, that would have been <laughs> solid art pull. It <laughs> <laughs> would have been throbbingly solid. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia O'Keefe would be a great way to sell dick pills. Yes. If Georgia O'Keefe put her name on and dick classy. pills. Mm -hmm. like, like, everything I've painted probably makes your dick kind of hard. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, that's kind of hard. A little bit. Just turn it sideways. Right. You know what? Actually, uh, she could shame everyone. Like, look at this painting. Is your dick hard? No. You got a problem. You need dick pills. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and they're like, I just didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Really, uh -huh. Beta? I thought it was just a flower. Dick pill. Uh -huh. uh, text. Sure. text uh, uh, I like to watch, uh, uh, so you can get a discount on the 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 O'Keefe's. Is that the entire discount code? <laughs> Promo yep. code okay. Rust. Promo code uh, uh, Folds. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought people were leaving during this bit, but um, it was just Jomo and the pussy possum just packing up. The, the pussy possum. <laughs> this is whoa, Jomo and the pussy possum. That, that was what? That was whoa, Leo whoa, DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, <laughs> and David Blaine. Oh, right? they were the bad the boys. The pussy possum. <laughs> the bad boys are ninety-seven. <laughs> Nothing escaped them. <laughs> David Blaine gets left off that list far too often. And he shouldn't. He, he was somehow there. gets a fucking pass on that. Oh my god! By the way, so the last time I think we've talked, uh, uh -huh. uh, we went to go see David Blaine's show in Vegas. Yes. Have either of or any of you guys seen Blaine's show? I in still Vegas? have not. No. Have I, you, Matt? I haven't. And you don't live there I, anymore. I wanted anymore. to, and then I went online to look at prices, and I was like, he doesn't want me to go. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. Yeah. No matter what the price is. You need to go because he's not going to do it for very much longer. <laughs> like he so already tell, heard tell him about it he, yeah. again. Yeah, what's it, again? He has, again? he has heard himself almost every oh, month yeah. that he's done it. He does two shows a month. That means he is hurting himself in fifty percent of the shows right. that he is doing. Well, we doing... just talked about it on our show a few weeks ago with uh, Johnny Katz, an entertainment reporter out of Vegas, and I guess uh, Johnny was there the night that he did a high fall and just injured, like popped his shoulder out of socket. And then lay there on the mats and all the cardboard boxes for about 10 minutes. And medics came out and did the whole thing. And uh, uh, he sat there uh, and recovered for a while. And then they not, popped his shoulder back in. And what, then he what, did the fucking show. Wait, not, wait, hold on. There's more color to that. And now we go to Brian. Uh, not just medics. It turns out that there was an orthopedic surgeon convention happening in Vegas. Yep. So when they right. said, is there a doctor in the house? An astonishing number of hands. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When it was said, is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> yeah. There was an astonishing yeah. amount of, 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 of hands that and went you up. you know who can afford to go see him? It's orthopedic surgeons. Yep. yep. That's who can afford to go see David Blaine. Uh, uh, Chris Angel was there that night. He had a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The whole thing. True. Yep. True. He looked at all the orthopedic surgeons and said, get up! 
<laughs> Get on your fucking feet. Get on uh, your fucking my feet. My son has a dislocated shoulder. Get on your feet for dislocated shoulders. I'm going to blow some shit in your face. <laughs> Different show. Different show. Same shit. Brian, <laughs> you must have parallel heroics for performing your solo show over the years. Oh, yeah, no, I, right? I, I, I've definitely, uh, th there's nothing more embarrassing than bleeding on stage, and I've done it a few times. Mm -hmm. None of us have done that. And we're going to so, start uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a knife? Kalima Shakti Day. I was being sarcastic where I literally cut the tip of my thumb so it like gushed. And so I literally like, it like a Guar concert, like squirted blood on the front row. <laughs> no, but, I, it, but at I, least I got... it wasn't at the very beginning of your show. It was my very first show ever <laughs> in front of Penn and Teller. Oh. So very first show ever, full stop, in front of Penn and Teller in addition. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and the trick was taught to me by Teller, so Teller watched me fuck it up. Yep. Yeah. And so, and so it, 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 it hit people in the front row like a squirt gun. Yes. Like just. Yeah, and like and they groaned so much, and then I was like trying to tie together bloody ropes. Uh, How? Uh, bloody ropes, by the way, is the name of our next comedy album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter North and, is producing and, and, and the first. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Brought to you by Ropex. <laughs> Low T. Low T. Low T. How did Teller react to this performance that he watched? Uh, he laughed because out loud. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. He just thought it was so funny. Uh, did, did he come up and say like specifically, like it was specifically funny when you sliced open your thumb. Well, I did the whole show. Uh, so, so the the backstory is that I learned seven tricks with seven magicians in my very first magic show. Yeah, uh, Penn and Teller were two of the seven magicians, so they were there. Pith the Magic Dragon was one of the magicians. He was there. Matt King was one of the magicians. He was there, and they all watched me fuck up four of my seven tricks. <laughs> <laughs> but I had dancers. Yep, that was uh, part of my that, goal. That was the one part all of your famous friends agreed upon, which was, oh man. Just add dancers to everything. That was great. <laughs> Specifically, Teller said every mentalist should have dancers in their show. <laughs> yep. That's what Teller said. Uh, no, he just uh, he actually wrote me a very kind message. It wasn't it wasn't it was, and it wasn't quit. <laughs> <laughs> Arguably, that would Which, have been a kinder message. Yeah, yeah. Again, like with him in play. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just said, you know, like, hey. It, that was a very tough show to get through, and you got through it uh, very well. Uh, Especially the part where you cut off your thumb. <laughs> I, did, I did the duct tape thing where you, like, it was oh, yeah. bleeding, so I just wrapped it in a huge amount of duct tape and uh, did, like, this. Did, I was, a, like, a penguin for the rest of my show. Wait, wouldn't that be a great, uh, I'll say it, thumb tip bit? Jesus. <laughs> All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, no one tell anyone because it'd be the greatest <laughs> secret in magic. <laughs> oh my Sorry, god! Sorry, guys. Yeah. Before I came out, I cut my thumbs. So, <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow a ring and can someone tie my thumbs together? Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> Emo Phillips in UHF. Just bleh. <laughs> How did he do it? Oh. He actually cut his thumbs. All right. No. Oh. Uh, Bryce, where's Bryce? <laughs> is Bryce look, around? Right. Bryce left. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just have this was, was the question like both addressed <laughs> to Bryce Hello. about Bryce? Hi, I'm in the back by the spotlight. Uh, oh, Bryce, hey. uh, do you have any trivia question? Oh, I, I certainly do. Oh, Jake I do as well. Has a trivia. You have uh, trivia question. I do. Wait, you what the fuck? You guys, you guys... No, no. You do you. I'll do me. We we panicked before when you said you had no game, and so we always end our show with a trivia, and we have an archive of trivia yeah. we haven't played. So Jacob grabbed. So I pulled one up, but we'll do now. yours. Okay. Well, no. How, how about we do one on one? So so yeah. you you have one ready, and we'll do yeah, great. We'll do one on one. Yeah. But also, let's make it a contest about who we like better. Yeah. So uh, know you're being judged, and go. <laughs> That's fine. I didn't make ours up. <laughs> so great. I mean, neither, neither did Bryce. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 no, no. Yeah. Right, yeah. He, right. he he steals them from the uh, bar trivia he goes to. One. They let me steal it. <laughs> <laughs> they have not stopped me from stealing it yet. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. So your definition of they let me steal it is they've not yet stopped me Correct. successfully from stealing. They let it. me rob this bank. No one. That's what I heard. This bank. I'm pretty sure okay. that is a former president's defense currently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making that DC money, baby. We all we all go to trivia. <laughs> no one we all go. go. I'm the nobody best at trivia. Up. And nobody, nobody said it wasn't mine. If they were nobody gonna, if take they were it. gonna stop it, they would have told me. I would have said something if it wasn't mine. I'm buying. I'm buying up to four, five, sometimes six vodka sodas. <laughs>
I should be able to steal the questions. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Thank God Barack Obama is here. I mean, it's called trivia. It's got to be trivial. Nobody cares. It doesn't say secret document that only classified people should have. <laughs> so it's fine. It's trivial. It's, it's trivial. Paul, Bryce! Paul, Paul right. slowly becoming right, a joke. Bryce, you go first. I got a question. Yeah. <laughs> Shut out if you know. It's mean, declassified. Uh, wait. Forget about it. Buzzle. Got a question. What 90s child star says she's running for Congress for California's 30th district, which begins just a few miles east of Topanga Canyon? Now, is that, a, is that a hint in the clue? Well, I couldn't tell you that. Oh, okay. I would never be able Wait, to tell you that. What, what 90 game South guy. Star says she's running? Says he's running for Congress. Says he's? Oh, he's Peter North. Oh, oh, no, it's what's his name because of that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's your boy, uh, boy Meets World, Fred Savage. Fred Savage, you think? Yeah. He's not the Boy Meets World. But that was his no, boy. no, no. That would be the other one that happened after Corey that. Savage. Corey Savage. Right? No. What do? What? What is happening? Right there? Savage, huh? Nineties celebrity Corey Savage. No, no. Write it down. Fred Savage was the Wonder Years. Wonder Years. Wonder Years. And then his brother was Boy Meets World, but he dated a girl named Topanga in the show. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's where the. That's what I thought so was the clue. So it's Corey Savage. Wait, hold on. He was running for Congress. My his name's is, not Corey Savage. My is guess it? is still Kirk Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Correct. Any other guesses? Kurt Cobain. Kurt, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> No, it's not. Co Corey was his character name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think he was related to... I don't feels, think he was a savage. Oh, he's a savage. You think he's a savage? He's a savage. You, you, he's a savage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know Topanga's got it. Good, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a savage, all right. Yeah. All the way to the ring. <laughs> Cup of coffee in the big time. Our yeah. Oh, yeah. Land. Oh, yeah. Have a show. Oh, yeah. Let it go dormant. Yeah. <laughs> Reboot it for Netflix. Oh, yeah. Get that money. Streaming's where it's at. Oh, yeah. You know what really matters, Mean Gene? Family matters. Mean Gene, family man. <laughs> Wrong show. Different show. Different show. Different era. Oh, TGIF. TGIF. Step by step. Must yeah. See oh TV. yeah. Yeah, baby. Day by day. <laughs> Best step forward. Valerie's family. Yeah. Right, yeah. Sir, Patrick Duffy. Do we have <laughs> Last call for guesses. <laughs> Nobody's gotten it right yet. <laughs> Anybody in the crowd? Can you shout it out if you know the name? What's <laughs> Ben? My guess is Ben Savage. Ben Savage. Ben, ben Savage. Ben Savage. Hey! Hey! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give us a question, Jacob. We oh, knew we it was a savage. I have a question from our scoop, Leon Kassab. Leon Kassab sent us in a Mikey-style quiz. Oh, shoot. Oh. So this is professionally professional wrestling gimmick or not. Ooh. Oh. That's it. This is easy. It's yeah, that's it. That's it. Be, yeah. Uh, so we have, the, we have the gimmick professional wrestling matches. They do like Hell in a Cell and, uh, and some other things like or that. The, or the, the, the character, right? That too. Sure. Uh, no, no. I think it's just the matches. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the the first Leon the first who one wrote it thinks it's just the match. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm holding my judgment till you're the question. According to the email in my hand, it's the matches. Okay. Uh, the, the so the match is a stairway to hell match. Mm -hmm. A stairway to hell match. The description is it is a no disqualification variation on a ladder match where instead of a championship title being suspended above the ring, there is a weapon such as barbed wire or a kendo stick. Once an opponent retrieves the weapon, he may use it. Wins count via standard three count pinfall or submission. I'm real almost or positive fake. that's a it real match. It sounds like match. some ECW shit. That, yeah. is, that is a real uh, match. Yeah. Yes. Stairway to hell is yeah, a real yeah, match. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going real? Yeah. Yeah. Real. Both, both of the wrestling people are saying real. Yeah. I don't know, Matt. Seems yeah. to me like we should take the under on this. <laughs> <laughs> like the stairway under? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> as as two people who have never watched much wrestling, I feel like we're experts in what is and is not wrestling. Yeah. Plus, you and I already played at the final table of Skull. What do we have to lose? Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, the, the key is for all of these questions, can it be said in a professional wrestling announcer promo? 
Right. So it's like, they'll face each other in a stairway to hell, Matt. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, that, that was that in a, a right. kendo stick. That sounds like Sandman going up there. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah, also, if it was fake, they would have done some dumb shit that, like, they dug a hole in the middle of the right, ring or something Right, like right, that. right, stairway but, to But, hell. like, that's actually feasible. Is that in there, that they dug a hole? Yes. Yes. Okay. And it's yeah, dumb because it doesn't make any sense, so it is a wrestling-type run. Stairway to hell, it's all backwards. Oh, yeah, that. no, because uh, one, one steroid-addled meathead was like, stairway to heaven. <laughs> oh, oh stairway wait. to hell. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Yeah. Brian, it seems like Justin and Paul have talked themselves into agreeing with themselves. Uh, well, <laughs> you and I are very tired after playing Skulls. So let, let, let's let them lead for us. Okay. I love how the extended Randy Savage improv led to something more wrestling alienating. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Normally, that's where we alienate yeah. the most people this is our this wrestling is, fan. Woo. Yeah. Car. Uh, it is real. Hey. Yeah. It was used in the ECW. I said oh, ECW. Yeah. ECW. 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 It's a stairway to hell, Matt. Calm down, Polly. <laughs> Got a question Joey's for Bryce. Oh. Bryce. Kaboom! What's the militaristic term for the bone that runs down a horse's lower leg from the fetlock to the hock joint? <laughs> Sex bone. Final Where's answer. Heaton? Where's Heaton? God damn it, he left. <laughs> yeah, Heaton would know this. That Jurassic from Park the... looking motherfucker. What? <laughs> Kaboom! What's the militaristic term for the bone that runs down a horse's lower leg from the fetlock to the hook joint? Ah, that, that was a clue. The kaboom. Is a clue. kaboom. Kaboom right? is a clue, too. Dynamite. Yeah, yeah. Da bomb. Sick. Da bomb. Uh, <laughs> da bomb. Da bomb. Da brat. Uh, what a rapper. I'm going to go. Di- yeah. Dynamite? Dynamite? Holy shit. Dynamite stick. Uh, the, 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 uh, My hooray. answer is still Kirk Cameron. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Noted. Could be. We got we got yeah. Kirk Cameron. We've got uh, Dynamite. What is it? Any other guys? Right, rifle bone. Right, old bone. Militaristic. militaristic. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm just kidding. Kaboom. Take a stab. Epaulets. Epaulets. Hey. <laughs> Text code rifle bone to get your new genetics. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have low T? I'm Kurt Cameron. <laughs> I'm running for Senate. <laughs> Bryce. Yes. What's what the is the answer? It? We were looking for cannon. The oh. cannon. Oh. I'm taking credit for rifle oh, cannon. Yeah, cannon. That, that, cannon. that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Cannon. You, were very, you were very close. Yeah, I'm taking you credit really for that. Want, I get yeah. a full point for that. You want a cannon on that one. Yeah, yeah keep, your own, keep your own score. Keep yeah, yeah. Your own <laughs> cannon. <laughs> winning, winning. Yeah. That's cannon, actually. It's yeah, not that, a fan fiction. It's cannon. It's cannon. The scorpion yeah. death match. Mm-hmm. Description. In this match, large cacti were placed in the corners of the ring, and a tank of live scorpions was placed in the middle of the ring. The winner would be determined when he could hold the lesser's head in the tank of scorpions for 10 seconds. This has to be real. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, it's either Paul, real who, who, or I'm living in the wrong timeline. I mean, it's, it's Sting, right? He's the scorpion death lock is his move. Oh, no, this is bullshit. You don't think so? A hundred percent. Because he's taking Scorpion Deathlock and saying no, it's not because real? because wrestling has learned one lesson, and boy, do they not learn wrestle- uh, lessons easy. Don't involve... Animals? Animals. Yeah. They do not Ever do since it. the it, snake bite. Ever, or there's what? there was <laughs> the one... snake bite? <laughs> all right, there's a real match, and I don't know if it's going to be a possible question, but uh, there was a hell in a kennel match. <laughs> because, and I shit you not... One wrestler started a feud <gasps> by killing another wrestler's dog and feeding it to him. Oh, jeez. And so Ooh. the Jude or kayfabe? Uh, 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 oh, no, it's kayfabe. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know. No, it was. It was I don't know what kind of wrestler you are. A, a big boss man in Al Snow. Okay. Uh, uh, and he fed him his dog, oh, right. Pepper. And uh, he a was like. spicy for me. And he was like. This is literally the bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was like, I, I, oh, you like it? Because it's Big Boss Man from your childhood, but they made him very aggressive, turned him, very they weird. They turned him super the evil 90s. at the end, yeah. Uh, and so he's like, oh, you like it? You like it? He's like, oh, it's a little spicy. Maybe he's got a little bit too much pepper. <laughs> anyway, they His had dog a was named Pepper. Match, and and uh, uh, as insane as that was, the worst way it could end was a bunch of very drugged dogs who would definitely not actually bite anybody, just kind of half drooling in the corner while people were like, no, don't, don't, don't bite me. 
Wow. Oh, no. So, so yeah, Justin and Paul are a no. Yeah, Brian, you said you're a yes? Uh, you know what? I, I think I've been converted <laughs> to a I, no. I just think it's two things happening. There's either cactuses in the corner or a jar of scorpions. You make a decision on one of those, you don't go, what else? Right. So yeah. The fact that it's two things to me makes it seem like it's a it, it, it is a real hat on a hat. Hat on a hat. Yeah. So you're all a no. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> okay. It's a real it. scorpion that, on a that cactus. That almost certainly means we're about the to The answer be... is true. God, oh, God shit. Damn. From New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh, wow. Ridiculous oh. and real. <gasps> wow. There you go. They all did right. it. Bryce. A cacti and a tank of scorpions. And I'm Best. sure everybody in Osaka Joe Hall loved it. Yep. Right. Bryce, give us will a the, real question. Will the hack die on the cacti? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a real one for you. Oh, name for, ah, name Whoa, for dogs, fire. not birds. The Canary Islands are right off the coast of what African kingdom that you can wave to from Spain's southern tip? Uh, M- Morocco? Morocco. Morocco. Bryce, the answer is Morocco. We were looking for Morocco. Hey! Hey! See, that's Everybody how question Everybody gets goes. a point. Easy. Any. Especially you. Morocco. It was so quick without a Randy Savage bit. Oh, yeah, yeah Morocco. <laughs> I can do it, too. Uh, I'm like- Morocco. I got one. Sorry. <laughs> if you smell what Morocco's cooking. <laughs> Over the top. Oh. Over the top. Yep. Oh, sorry. Sorry. There's more of it. Over the top. Off with the top. Oh. Over what? the top. Off with the top. Oh, dirty, dirty. The description is two male wrestlers accompanied by their female companions dirty, at ringside dirty, 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 would dirty. attempt to throw their opponent over the top rope. Each time one of the wrestlers was thrown over the top rope, his female companion would be forced to remove a piece of clothing. Ah. This sounds classy. I I <laughs> rented this when I was 14. <laughs> yep, yep. The, uh, the winner was determined by forcing an opponent's companion to remove her bra. Real or fake, gentlemen? It's tough because there's no timeline, right? And so, like, yeah. this is definitely, like, a lot of dumb, like, oops, there goes your top games were played mm-hmm. in the 80s and early 90s. Yeah. The the golden age of, oops, you've yeah. been forced yeah. by yeah. our yeah. machine yeah. to take off your top. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, we just had the one wrestling match was true in Japan. So this could be, like, some weird wrestling club it could be in morocco and like Tallahassee. could be yeah. could be in the canary <laughs> island yeah yeah okay all right it it feels like a sim at least a similar gimmick was legit i don't know if this exact one because there have been all kinds of are you talking about I, tits on the table all that yeah <laughs> the tits, tits on, the, on the, table. the table this uh, thursday tits on the table and the silver uh, spoon little boy blue and the man, man on the moon i uh, have a mama taking off all her clothes <laughs> Nobody. Oh, it looks like I lost the match. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna now say my mama's naked now. We've had two yeses. You know your mama's naked now, yeah. <laughs> We've had tits on the table and the silver spoon. <laughs> Little boy blue and the man on the moon. <laughs> We have had well the match just rang the other day. My mama's tits, I would not pay. <laughs> she told me, son, if it means a title shot, I'll get rid of my bra or not. <laughs> I'll stand outside of the ring where you fall, and maybe I'll lose it all, boy. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll lose it, it all. Now my kid is on the table and the still the food. Little boy blue, and I'm ahead of the moon. When you're coming home with a title <laughs> shot. Something, something, God, <laughs> something, <laughs> Carl, God. Oh man, that song makes me cry every time. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Mom. <laughs> That's how she died, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 Off the top rope. Yep. Yep. <laughs> died doing Fly. what she loved. On the el- table. Flying elbow right in the tit. <laughs> Brian, you were saying something. <laughs> Was he? I was saying that oh, so far we've had two trues, so I feel like we're due for a false, and so I'm going false. Game yeah, let's go false. Yeah, yeah. Although this match probably happened probably Somewhere. once Something every like yeah. every Thursday in the '90s in the backyard. It might be yeah. false on this quiz, but there's no way it's definitely yeah. False. Yeah. yeah. Oh, everybody false. Yeah. Yeah. Real. Ah! A 
June the 6th, in the year of our Lord 2000, Dean Malenko, accompanied by Terry Runnels and Jerry the King Lawler, accompanied uh, by what? his real wife, there the cat, yep. squared off, leading both women to strip down to their bra and panties. When Lawler threw Malenko out the final time, Runnels began to remove her bra, only to be stopped by wrestler Stephen Richards, who was debuting his he shirt was, and tie clad yep, yep. right the right the center. Center. Oh, yeah. The idea of which was to censor WWE's Warning. raunchy sexual content. Warning. Warning. Yeah, it was yep. the right to censor because they were mad at the Parents Television Council. Mm -hmm. So they had a little kickstand. Yep, yep, yep. Got him. Thing. And they didn't have a theme song. They literally just had. Warning. Yeah. Like Warning. a loud, like, Warning. fire alarm. alarm. Yep. Like just to annoy people. Mm -hmm. Bryce, do you have a real question? Yes, I do. <laughs> Clever! What subsidiary's name is both a place where eagles hang out and a shorthand for American Eagle Eagle Lingerie? Nest. Nest. That was it's gotta nest. be Nest, yeah. right? It's yeah. Egg buttress. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Can we unpack that? <laughs> Egg buttress. <laughs> What's the one pack? <laughs> like, I understand that birds lay eggs. Go on. <laughs> but a buttress is not like a hold butler who's a female. Okay, so somebody has some ports hold, eggs. Hold it up. Uh, hold it up the yeah. egg. Uh, you know what? I'm converting. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Uh, no, no. no I'm, on, I'm on team egg Wait. No, 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 no. This is not about, this is not about the question. I, and it's a terrible audio bit because people can't see it. Except I would ask everybody to take their phones out and take a picture of what's happening right now. Just... I've never seen somebody who's on a stage just lean onto a tree <laughs> as much as Matt just, Donnelly is just right now. so exhausted. We are performing on a porch, on Brian's porch, and there's a tree that sticks out from the middle of it, and it just, like, it, it is it is comforting. I, I, I am, like, jealous that you get the tree to lean on. Under the car. <laughs> Oh, those poor clowns. Uh, you know, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm back to nest. I think it <laughs> nest, yeah, is but, nest, but spelled with a Y. <laughs> those are all wrong. Want to take another guess? What subsidiary's name is both a place where eagles hang out and a shorthand for American Eagle lingerie? Cove American no, I, Eagle a -E -L? lingerie. A -E -L? American Eagle. A -E -L? Also, when he said eagles hang out, is he maybe talking about the band the Eagles? Probably Hotel California. Oh, rehab. <laughs> uh, I was going to say Charles Manson's house. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, those are all wrong, too. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, I, on a I, dark I, desert I, highway. Hold on. Cool wind, wind in, in my, my hair. hair. <laughs> I got ooze for rehab, and then he said Charlie Manson's house, and everyone's like, fine. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that was the Beach Boys. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also worse to hang out at Charlie. Never mind. Go on. Bryce. Bryce. Egg well, rehab. They're working on themselves at least. Yeah. All right. Well, but, Last chance. Last well, call? Last no, call? Uh, what was the answer? We were looking for Airy. A Airy. 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 Okay. All right. Airy. Yeah, so all of y'all are going to pretend Under like you. Airy. It was on the. It was Airy. On Airy. Your you up all of you are going to act like. The only time this I is... purchased lingerie was $4 a bag at an Exxon gas station in New Jersey. And I appreciated it. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, you know, you, and I ended up being the one who wore it. It, it lifted and shaped. Yeah. <laughs> like an egg buttress. I, uh, I'll just keep going with the true details because it gets weirder. I, I worked out, and then everyone took pictures of me doing curls. All right, moving on. <laughs> All right. Last night, tickle fight, Iron Man match. Last night, tickle fight, Iron Man match. Go on. A very Slowly. Uh, Paul, could you sing me uh, some accompanying music, please? Whoa. A variation on the classic Let's Iron Man go match. To the, tickle house. the traditional Iron Man match would determine a winner the by which wrestler obtains the most three count house. pinfalls or no submissions in a set time limit. In, oh, yeah. in this house. version, however, it was not pinfalls or submissions, Hell no. but number of. What's oh, what number of tickled. what wrestler could make the other laugh Nobody via tickling? Nobody knows. 
So how many th- it was how many times tickles. you could make your opponent laugh via tickling? Ooh, whoever got the most won the match over leg. over a certain time limit. Am I touching on my own leg? Uh, Sitting in the dark tickle house. We're good. We're good, Paul. <laughs> Who's tickling <laughs> who? Hold on, I'm lay almost out. there. Lay out. What's lay out. What's left in the tickle house? <laughs> Don't stay in the tickle house. Everybody now. Go Don't back stay to the in tickle, the tickle house. <laughs> Who's tickling who? Let's go to the tickle house. It's dark in the tickle house. What's there in the tickle hut? You know the word. Who's tickling who? This shit isn't hard. Why is Jomo getting all the credit? Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Bullshit. Yeah. This is the my most favorite is down. podcast I've ever done. <laughs> what is down? Did you say most arousing? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Ditto. Text thrust. Uh, <laughs> for bloody rope. <laughs> Rifle bone. <laughs> Ooh, do you have low T? <laughs> Click Ooh. clock. Elizabeth did. <laughs> Ooh, uh, too soon. <laughs> I... I don't think this one is real. Uh, I do think it's real. I think it's real, too. You know what? I've always said it's real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matty D. Uh, wh- why stop this train? <laughs> <laughs> this one is fake. Ah! Ah! Though this bullshit. is exactly the kind of sports entertainment bullshit I wouldn't have been surprised to see in the PG era of the WWE. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bryce. Question. We'll talk about some food really quick here. If you can't find Milano's, Pepperidge Farm also makes a mini Danish cookie named for what other Italian city where Shakespeare laid some scenes? Sis- Wait, no, Sicily's not. Siena? Siena? Verona? Verona. 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 Two gentlemen Verona. and a cookie. I've seen that one. Yep. <laughs> Two gents, one cooked. <laughs> Two gents, one cookie of yeah. Verona. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, watch this video. Let me tape the reaction. I've seen that one. <laughs> Good sir, doth thou make this cookie ookie? <laughs> sir, I make that cookie ookie, but I do not make the cookie ookie toward thou. Yeah. <laughs> but how might this I take it if this cookie is ookie now? I would have say that the cookie mayeth be ookie, but it is not thy cookie, sir. I ookie this cookie at you, good sir. Then back to thee, I ookie. Huh. That's pretty good. <laughs> I did it all for the ookie. <laughs> the what? The ookie. The so you can take this cookie. range that we have in this podcast. <laughs> Stick it up here, yeah. Were, were we right, Bryce? You were correct. It's Verona. Take the mansion. First cowgirl threesome match. Wow. <laughs> The no, one now. Wait, wait, no. Let's Hold on. Go no, to the pickle room. house. <laughs> it's dark to the dingle house. What's there, there in the dingle house? Who's, who's tickling who? On this episode <laughs> <laughs> of Tickle House. <laughs> A mosh pit is forming. <laughs> you can't see it in this podcast, but there's a mosh pit. Tickler's and Tickler's and Tickler's. Tickler's and I was in the middle of the Feather Emporium, <laughs> and you wouldn't believe what I encountered. A it's tickle? a tickle. It's a tickle. <laughs> it's always a tickle. The tick <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm just a rip off of the Crips keeps <laughs> Only it's about tickling. <laughs> Do you have any? <laughs> Do you have any feathery delights for me? Uh, go ahead. The reverse cowgirl threesome match. <laughs> this. <laughs> it, it, ar- it already doesn't pass the announcer test. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, Sorry. next contest is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> Reverse cowgirl. What? Uh, what what is this <laughs> garbage? Threesome. 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 Well, now, now, now. It does not pass the announcer test. You know, King, when you're focusing on a reverse cowgirl threesome match, you really need to know who your threesome partner may or may not be oh and God. whether or not it, this is this ain't, this ain't a cowgirl match. King, well, it's a reverse cowgirl. Uh, yes, and as a co-investor, 
Let me, the Tickle Master. I agree. Tickle oh Master. my God, he's litter in half. Tickle Master. Somebody stop the damn match. Tickle Master's in there. Well, damn, Tickle Master, you make a good point. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this gimmick from the early 2000s involved a battle of three of the female wrestlers. The only way to win this match was for one of the competitors to obtain a three count pinfall by pinning their opponent in a reverse cowgirl position, which is exactly what you would expect it to be. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, what? <laughs> no, the reverse cowgirl position is what you would expect it to be. Was, was that always allowed that you could just say, no, it's not? <laughs> not? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> you can't pin someone in a reverse cowgirl. Not with that attitude. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I Thank like you, Tin Keeper. Because <laughs> yeah. their shoulders can't be down, right? Well, no, 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 no. Their shoulders would be down. They would just be sitting with no way to pin their shoulders. I need more so can like, do attitude out of you, you four. You, you could reverse cowgirl. Like sit on a yeah, yeah. sit on on a pinned opponent, and they okay. would be pinned. Brian, I believe in miracles. Right. Yeah, all right, Brian, lie down. Right <laughs> Here we go. All right, Brian is Brian is lying down. All right, it so is, Brian is lying down. Brian He's getting the mic. Brian. Here we go. Yeah, put uh, that mic right in your face. Oh, and Matt is sitting on it. So Brian is now sitting reverse cowgirl on Brian. Hold on. Uh. One, How am two, I oh, oh, no, 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 he, uh, he brought it up. Oh, sorry. Two, two, okay. two count. I see it. All right. Oh, I when I it. knelt down, I realized that I was going to have a hard time getting uh, it up. Uh, Brian, uh, 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 Paul, would you like to try to pit him? Nah. <laughs> Are you sure? We have a lot of investor VC capital. Uh, I've got a lot of peacock fans. You, you, your belt you is see off. Very no, English. I'm not. No. No. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> You've clearly got high T. <laughs> not not when doing I, when it. I was down there, I felt his egg butcher. I bet. I yeah. bet you did. <laughs> Lift that and separated. I, I, I actually, I don't. Oh, he's staying down. He's down for the Brian's just going to lay down for the rest of the show. We lost him. We lost Brian. Called it. Yeah, it sounds legit. All right, Paul is real. No, not real. Not real. After all of that... After my demo, I just proved you can't pin someone from reverse count. Oh, you made the case for me that it was real. Yeah, I think you proved you can do it. Hey. I, this whole court is out of order. <laughs> <laughs> it, felt know, this, real. it felt really real when you did it. This reminds me of the ALDS 1997. Frank, not now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still I'm going fake, but I, I, I can be outvoted. Okay. Justin. Fake, fake. Uh, I think we got a real. fake from the real. floor, real. and you're real. I think it's real. So Paul and Justin are real. Brian yep. and, and Matt are fake. Oop. It is fake. Hey! Uh, Science wins! <laughs> With all of the demeaning <laughs> matches Vince Russo thought up for women in the late 90s, early 2000s, this one never happened. Okay. Yeah. Bye, what? Russo. Shut uh, up, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have a knowledge base, and this is kind of out of it, okay? All right. Uh, how long have we gone? I've used all of my ref wrestling references that I have. All right. Bryce. Bryce. A real question. Here's a question for you. Vigo Mortensen broke two toes, kicking a helmet in The Two Towers, and he almost drowned filming 13 Lives. That's a Ron Howard film about a real-life cave rescue in what Asian nation? Oh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's, um... Is that the, the cave? Cambodia, cave? right? Yeah. Cambodia cave? No, it's not Cambodia. Malaysia, wasn't it? <gasps> yes, the Malaysian. Oh, wait. The Malaysian oh, no, wait. Was Malaysian it the Malaysian flight? flight? Was the Malaysian flight the same no. time? Period? Oh, no. yeah. No, no, no. It was the Malaysian flight that died. Yeah. Uh, Malaysian that flight. That wasn't the same as the cave. No, no, they, no, they, they were not in a the cave. cave. The flight landed in a cave? Did the flight land yeah. in the cave? No. <laughs> the flight landed in a cave, Bryce. I mean, That's not... <laughs> and, I, and, and you, and, and you want to know who was pumped? Plato. <laughs> the question. <laughs> Philosophy <laughs> fans. That's a joke. I'm here for you. Uh, you shone a light on me with that one. Vigo Mortensen broke two toes, kicking a helmet in the two towers, and almost drowned filming 13 Lives. That's a Ron Howard film about a real-life cave rescue in what Asian nation cave is not going to be the right answer? It's got to be oh. the Philippines, right? Shit. Isn't that the one that uh, I thought it was. Was. No. piped in? Matt, we talked about yeah, the, yeah. the documentary that I had this. I watched the whole documentary yeah. on it. 
I have too. You don't yeah. remember the play? Of details. What is what is the okay. tree telling you that you're still leaning on? <laughs> was one of the details in the documentary where it was? I think it was. <laughs> just want to lay back down. I believe they should. Sure. They refused oh, to say the cares. setting. It's your show. <laughs> um, Philippines. Sure. We got Thailand. Any other we, got a, we got a vote. Thailand. Thailand. Thailand? Uh, yeah, oh, Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, that sounds fine. Thailand. 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 Any other guesses? Sure. Nope. No, yes or no? Yeah, okay. Thailand. We're done. We were looking for drum roll, please. Uh, Thailand! Thailand! All right, I'm going to go to bed. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> last time I went to Thailand, I went to the Tickle House. Oh, La- last question, nice Jay. Last oh, question. sure, sure, sure. One more. One Let's more. wrap it up. Speaking of Thailand, Ooh. the bungee cord match. How is that speaking? Oh, sorry. Of? Just a bungee match because you tie people down. Bungees. Uh, they, they have yeah. to run at each other and attack each other. And yeah, then sure. They get pulled the back. Bungee, uh, the bungee cord match. Description. Real. 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 In this match, the opponents are strapped with bungee cords and lifted in a steel cage 175 feet into the night sky. The first one to be thrown from the cage <laughs> loses. Jeez. Oh, but, they, but they're, they're, they're safe with a bungee. Right. Yeah, the, the cord is less than 175 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, unfortunately, it was 176 feet. Ooh. 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 Did not plan that out very well. <laughs> Measure twice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say real. Jump once. <laughs> Jump once. All right, Brian is in with real. Real. Justin? I, I don't remember this, but there's no reason why it's not yeah, real. It could uh, be. Uh, although, I'm going to say fake. Okay. It'd yeah. be phony baloney for a long time because it'd have to like, uh, oh, don't get because you get. Well, I mean, like, what, 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 what? You could what, hang yourself real easy. Or what, one of the most famous off. shitty matches of all time was the Night of the Skywalkers, which was basically like, let's have a very shitty match on a gangplank suspended above where everybody could see. Yeah, and then uh, uh, as the big uh, uh, ending, a very valuable professional wrestler took. An insanely dangerous fall, like David Blaine does twice a month at <laughs> the fucking uh, and sometimes resorts successfully, world. sometimes successfully, uh, uh, and I think one major wrestler hurt himself. So uh, I think this would be a play on that, but I don't think it happened. Okay, yeah, I'll I'm go. I'm also with curious, fake. like 175 feet. How many? You can't see. That is high. What, what venues really can you high. see at 175? Well, feet? and into the night sky means it was outside. I mean, that is several horses high. Yeah. Yeah. Heat Many horses. Here. No Many. eagles yeah. hang out up there. Nope. Way up I the think eagle. it's fake. So where are we at? Brian is fake. Fake. We're faking. Fake. Faking it. I'm going to fake it. <laughs> that match is real. Oh, oh God. Oh. This was a one-off match in the Global Wrestling Federation promotion in 1992. The match took place between Chaz Taylor and Stephen Dane. Of After course. the heel, Dane ambushed Tyler in the ring and painted a yellow streak down his back. Tyler challenged oh. Dane to any kind of match to prove that he was not a coward, which resulted in the bungee cord match. The match turned out to be, shockingly, pretty awful. It was shot at night from cameras located on the ground. Furthermore, the steel cage was painted yellow and had a mesh style guard that made it nearly impossible to see what was happening inside the cage. It's just like ate pizza. They didn't care. They didn't <laughs> do anything. All in all, it was several minutes of TV time starting up at an out of focus yellow cage uh, for a fairly boring finish. Yeah. All right. Uh, Bryce, give us a real question to take us out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I've got another one right here for you to take us out. It's perfect. And it's going to be the right one for the end of the night. Yep. yep. Big pressure. Just a very big, big pressure. Text everybody, pressure. everybody, let's go ahead and get a drum roll for Bryce's question. <laughs> Keep it going, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to happen at any moment now. Here it comes. We are getting it ready, Woo-hoo. getting it hot. Here we go. Folks, we are l- can't be anywhere else anywhere. than right now, Question. right here. You, Vivian Lee. Oh. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Vivian Lee appeared in Caesar and Cleopatra in 1945. True. Okay, true noted. That was before she played Blanche Dubois, but after she played what other iconic Southern Belle? Vivian Lee appeared in hmm. Caesar and Cleopatra in 1945. Uh, it's gotta be Scarlett O'Hara. Scarlett O'Hara, right? Yeah. Scarlett okay, O'Hara. That's, that's the only answer I've got. Yeah. Frankly, I Bryce, I don't give a damn. Yeah. We were looking for drum roll, please. 69% of teams knew it was Scarlett O'Hara. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we got it. All right. The following things are true in this order. Number one, everybody, if you have not yet bought Hay Scoops by Madden Mattingly's Ice Cream Social, please buy that right now. Please. On both platforms. On Amazon, on iTunes. iTunes. Buy it once, buy it often. Uh, let's get a gigantic round of applause for Ice Cream Social. Yeah. Thank Came you. Thanks for having us out here, guys. Uh, and give it up for Great Nights. Whoa! It's been a long day. Good night. Uh, what have we learned, Brian? Uh, we've learned that uh, occasionally magic does happen, and you find yourself across the table but, uh, from your arch nemesis, Matt Donnelly, and a 12-year-old. Uh, and Nemesai. Uh, Nemesai. And, 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 and people throw hundreds of thousands of fake dollars in the air over a bluffing game. Yep. Uh, we've learned that uh, uh, we don't know who's tickling who in the tickle house. Let's go to the tickle house. Matt, Matt what else did we learn? It's dark in the tickle house. What's there in the tickle house? Who's tickling who? Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for us. We'll see you soon. Justin Robert Young, Jacob Smith. Brian Brushwood, Paul Mattingly, Matt Donnelly. This has been Founders Day. Gonna lay back down. <laughs> Love you. Good guys. night. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's, it's been a great night. It's been a great night. Shine on. Shine on who? Who's tickling who? <laughs> There's never been a greater, greater.